Put on your flannel shirt, grab your ax, head to the cabin, or something like that. Hi, I'm Mary Schumann. I'm a realtor here in Minneapolis, and I aim to give you information that you need when you're thinking about moving to Minnesota. If you want a little more info, click the title of this video and the description box will open and I have a free relocation guide that you can download there. If you have questions about Minnesota, leave me a comment or send me a text or email because I would love to hear from you. If you're thinking about moving to Minnesota, you may be wondering if the stereotypes are real. Is everyone Minnesota nice? Are there 10,000 lakes? Does everyone say, you betcha? Why do people like it here? And by here, I mean the Twin Cities metro area and the hinterlands. So let's talk about the pros first. Minnesota nice. It actually is more of a Midwestern thing, I think. For the most part, people look out for their neighbors and are willing to pitch in and help when you need it. They will definitely give you some friendly conversation in the grocery store checkout line. I've often also heard that while Minnesotans are nice, they won't allow you into their inner circle easily. I honestly don't think that it's any different here than anywhere else that I've lived. And the way to get close to people in the community is to make your, the effort yourself. Get involved in things that you enjoy and you'll find your group. Okay, cultural diversity. Yes, nearly 84% of the population of the state is white. Look, it was settled by Scandinavians. They are a pale people. However, Minneapolis has a more diverse population, and with that comes the art, culture, and food that makes the city vibrant. While it's not Chicago or New York, you will not be stuck eating tater tot hot dish every single day, unless you want to, and then have at it. <laughs> there is a Vietnamese population that keeps everyone happily slurping pho, and one of my favorite restaurants is Ethiopian, among many other options. Autumn. People talk about going to New England to see the leaves. Well, I am 100% sure that New England doesn't have anything on Minnesota. Autumn here is something to behold. In addition to the leaves, crisp temperatures, and apple orchards, if you like birds, Minnesota is a hot spot for bird migration in the fall, and you can really see some unusual ones. One of my favorite things to do in September is to bike over to Longfellow Gardens in the city. It's a work of art with annuals and perennials, and apparently the hummingbirds think so too because they stop there on their migration south, and there are days when you can see about a hundred of them getting rest and fuel for their journey. Okay, lake culture. There are actually more than 10,000 lakes here. I'm calling it a culture because it really is a way of life here. Even when you live in the city, summers are spent at the many lakes in and around the metro area, swimming at the beaches, eating at the beachside cafes, paddle boarding, kayaking, or sailing on the water. Many people have lake cabins here and they spend the weekends and holidays there, and winter is no exception either. If you like cross-country skiing on flat surfaces, lakes freeze to depths of many feet and are safe to ski on. Many people enjoy ice fishing and park their ice houses out on the lake and spend the day there. Kids clear skating areas and play pond hockey, and we even have a lot of festivals that are held on lakes in the winter. The Eel Pout Festival is huge in northern Walker, Minnesota, but down in the cities we have things like the Kite Festival and the Art Shanties on Lake Harriet. What about the cons? Yes, there are negatives. According to some people, winter, I'm wincing as I admit this because I like winter, but there are days here in winter where you kind of question your sanity. Average temps are about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind chill adds a whole nother dimension. It is cold, but not awful if you're prepared for it. Dress properly and see my video about surviving winter in Minnesota. We do have cold snaps that are significantly below zero for a few days every winter. In northern Minnesota, a friend of mine, I hesitate to tell you this, posted a photo of her car thermostat showing an external temperature of minus 41. But kids still go to school, life goes on, you won't hear a lot of moaning and groaning because it is what it is. Anyone can make it through a couple of nasty cold snaps, but what tends to weigh on people are the short days. The sun sets around 4.30 and rises at about 8 o'clock in the morning. And while it's often quite sunny here, that can feel like not quite enough. 
Winter also feels like it stretches on a ways. We usually have um, frost in the beginning of October and then the first snowfall that doesn't actually stick by Halloween. Spring is about a week of moderate temperatures and then we're basically into summer in May, sometimes right after having a foot or two of snow in April. No lie. <laughs> the slower pace. Once again, this is how you look at it. Personally, I don't mind. I've lived in fast-paced Chicago for a long while and I loved it. But while it can also be a big relief to not be in the fast pace, the outdoor lifestyle here is naturally kind of a quieter way to be. People hunker down at bars for a drink and a good time with friends in the winter, but it's definitely got a slower pace. If you have kids, one thing that struck me here that I didn't have in Chicago is that kids still play outside, play in the park without parents helicoptering around them. And it really feels nice. Okay, bland food. Yes, this is a bit of the opposite of what I said before, but we're talking about Minnesota as a whole here. And while you can find some really great food options in the cities, you are very likely to encounter a lot of meat and potatoes kind of food as a whole. Nothing wrong with meat and potatoes, but sometimes you want something else. We do grow a lot of amazing sweet corn here, and it's practically a state law that every meal in the month of August must have sweet corn as a side. You should also know that Minnesota's version of spicy is kind of comical. Okay, that is it for me today, so let me know if you think this sounds like something you can handle. I would love to hear from you.